Red bandana. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I guess you can just give me a sum. That's the site, yeah. Okay. Um, additionally, if you mouse over any of the links, you will see that while there was an attempt at doing um, what's called a friendly URL, they also have a session ID at the end of it, which is exceptionally, exceptionally bad for, for uh, SEO. Which one, the left-hand side or the... Um, no, no, no. Watch. When I, open the, when I open this into a new tab, you see this URL? The Zen ID? Yeah. Well, it's there's actually a mod rewrite for the actual URL that should have removed all that, but I. Do you have an URL that was canonical tag on this page? No, I don't. So that would help. That would okay. Helpful, all right. That way, it doesn't matter what the session ID. Is. I got you. There's but still it's, it's, the front, if it's still not best case it. scenario, yeah. right? And it's still bad for it's still bad for users too, which Google Google dings you for that because they see a URL that's not readable by human beings. Like it's not it's not something you're gonna remember. Like if I go to like Macy's.com <laughs> slash shorts or men's slash shorts, that's really easy for me to remember. Yeah. Whereas this, I could not remember that. Right. Okay. He, I think what he's saying is, is that they thought they had handled that with the mod rewrite. Yeah. Right. So right. Like a, it it actually it's a mod rewrite that's special for this um, online store. It actually takes the actual product name and makes it part of the actual you makes a part of the uh, the URL. The, the before it was just a bunch of session IDs plus product codes and everything else, which were more innocuous. The way it looks right now with the session ID backspaced out of it mm -hmm. is fine. Okay. Now, have you, you said there was you know a different URL string before? Did yeah. Did you do three hundred ones from the dynamic URLs that were there before that were indexed to I, these new friendly URLs? They're actually just they're just mod rewrites. There were no three three oh indexed in Google with the dynamic URLs? Um yes there were. You should do three oh one redirects. On those, okay. On those so there's permanent. I mean you don't need to go through every incarnation, but you know, anything that was indexed in Google with that, you should definitely just three oh one it to the new friendly URL. Okay. Majestic SEO uh, is a great service to go back and look at like old links. Okay. Because once the once the links are gone in the search engine they won't you won't see them in the normal interface. And, Site Explorer is going away anyway. Yeah. But um, if you using Majestic SEO because they've been crawling the web for a couple of years and they have historical data sets that you can access to find out where did the old links. I got gotcha. you. So that way I can prioritize which pages I actually want to do 301 redirects on. Okay. What's the quick show again? What's the Sorry. So redirects come in two flavors: a 301 redirect and a, and a 302 redirect. And the reason they're called that is because um, that's the status code that the that they return in the header. So you can go to Google, uh, and you can, three words, HTTP is the first word, header is the second word, and check or checker, whichever you want, Wizard. whatever, is the third word. Uh, and that'll, that'll bring you up, as a, just click on the first link that comes up, and then basically there'll be a little box for you to put the URL into. You put the, bo the URL into the box and press submit, and it'll come back and tell you what the header code is that comes back. So, most redirects will return a 301 or a 302. If it returns a 200, that's really problematic because then Google's not even going to see that it's a redirect and you're going to have duplicate content issues. But you want to always go with a 301 redirect, not a 302, because 301 being a permanent redirect, it will transfer link metrics to whatever new page is being redirected to. A 302 is a temporary redirect, so Google will not transfer those. Well, let me, let me say this caveat. Sometimes Google will look at your redirect and say, oh, this is a 302, but really 
it needs to be a 301 and we're gonna treat it like that. So they reserve the right to treat some 302s like 301s. But for the most part, uh, the, the problem with 302s is you can end up hijacking yourself. I don't wanna go into that really because it's a long technical thing that's gonna put everyone to sleep. Right? Just, just a quick show of hands. How many people would like to have the sites reviewed or suggest sites for review? One.